Did you know that there are 25,000 SaaS app live right now and the market is still growing at 18% annually? But here's the big question. Can one solo developer really create a successful SaaS app? Stick around because the answer might just inspire you to start your journey today. SaaS, software as a service, isn't just a buzzword. It's a business model that has transformed industries. It's scalable, offers recurring revenue, and allows you to start small and grow big. But what if you are a solo developer? Can you tackle this challenge alone? Spoiler alert, yes you can. In fact, starting solo has its advantages. And as you grow, you can always add more developers to your team. Oh, and a quick note, if SaaS and AI excites you as much as they excite me, go ahead and please hit the subscribe button. I share practical tips and real world strategies every week. And I love for you to join the journey. So let's address the elephant in the room. Building a SaaS app as a solo developer is no work in the park. You are not just the coder. You are the marketer, the customer support rep, the accountant, and the strategist. On the top of that, there's a challenge of staying focused, managing your time, and competing with well-funded teams. If you're self-funding, you might also be dealing with budget constraint. That's when freelancing on the side becomes a smart move. The extra income can help you invest in your SaaS dream without stretching yourself too thin. So let's talk inspiration. Because yes, people have done this before and you can too. Take Peter Levels for example. He is the creator of Nomad List, a platform for digital nomads. Peter started solo using tools like Ruby on Rails to build his MVP. He focused on solving a very specific problem, helping digital nomads find the best places to live and work. Today, Nomad List earns over 300,000 a year. His secret? Start small, launch quickly, and let user feedback guide your updates. Another great example is Ami, a productivity tool designed by solo developer Dennis Muller. Dennis focused on creating an intuitive calendar app. He relied on a mix of open source libraries, cloud solutions, and user-driven feedback to keep costs low and progress fast. After building a strong MVP and gaining initial traction, then he started adding more team members to scale the product. So what this case study show is the importance of leveraging tools to simplify your work. For example, use AWS Lambda or Firebase for backend services. Leverage Stripe or PayPal for easy payment processing. Build your frontend with ReactJS or Vue.js which have huge ecosystems. And if budget is tight, Freelancing can be a game changer. Platforms like Upwork can connect you with clients, giving you the flexibility to fund your dream while honing your skills. So here's the golden insight. The key to success as a solo developer isn't doing everything, is doing the right things. Start with a clear audience and the specific problem to solve. Build a functional MVP that addresses that problem and then iterate based on feedback. More importantly, do not wait for perfection. Peter Levers launched Nomad List with a basic product and scaled it later. Dennis Muller didn't start with a fully fledged team. He started with a vision and added resources as the product grew. You can build a SaaS app solo, but the smartest solo developers do not stay solo forever. They start lead, prove the concept, and reinvest revenue into hiring talent to help them scale. So can you build a SaaS app as a solo developer? Absolutely. Start solo, bootstrap if needed, and grow your team as your product gains traction. Focus on solving one problem for one audience and let the rest follow naturally. Are you ready to start your solo SaaS journey? Or do you already have a project in the works? Drop your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. And if you are looking for tips on choosing the right tech stack for your SaaS app, please check my next video.
do not forget to hit subscribe and i'll see you in the next one